Hey planner people, I'm back with another video on my traveler's notebooks. I'm actually doing a collection type video today, minus one because my husband lost his Chic Sparrow. We haven't found it yet, we're kind of hoping it's somewhere in the house. We have two toddlers, so things tend to get up and walk away. So we're going to be scouring the house and looking in all his little hiding, the our son's little hiding spots to try and find it. But uh, right now, I personally own three different traveler's notebooks, two of which are Chic Sparrows. I have a pocket, not pocket, field notes sized Chic Sparrow in the Gemini leather. I have the Midori sized old love letters, which is basically just Turkish delight leather from Chic Sparrow. And now I also have a new A5 sized mermaid. I don't know if it's pronounced Janelli fish or Jonelli fish. So I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But as you can see, like I have three very different colors. The purple's like the most muted of the two. And my daughter is beating me in the back of the head. I have her on my back right now. Um, and then two very bright ones, which are my hot pink Gemini and my mermaid Janelli fish. So let's take a closer look at my field note sized Chic Sparrow. So the leather on this is very textured and it feels lovely in the hand. I This was my first traveler's notebook and I was over the moon about it when I got it and I still am. Uh, the leather is a little bit thicker than what the Turkish Delight leather is, but just ever so slightly thicker. Um, it's still very, very pliable, as you can see, just not quite as floppy. This one hasn't seen as much use as that one. This one is the one I tend to chuck in my purse because of what it has inside. But uh, it has an expense log from Yellow Paper House, which I keep track of my planner expenses from the month and then like page one total, page two total, and then my monthly total for like October. I haven't actually started this for November. I need to backfill into here. I've been pretty bad about it. And then I have a grid mole scheme in here, which at first I was using as a journal type thing, just jotting down a few notes about the day. I have a wish list in here for some things I want from 31 and then it's really just there as, you know, oh hey, this is such and such a thing, it's kind of cool, I'm going to jot something down about it. That's also why it has a pen loop with a pen on it at all times. Um, I have the Midori passport sized card holder and zip pouch in here. I don't have any cards in here. I need more card slots than this, even though each one of these holds three or four cards, depending on the thickness of your cards. I still need more than that. I have a lot of loyalty cards. I want to convert this into being used as my additional wallet in addition to my Kate Spade, which has most of my necessary cards in it. Um, I've got a few little mini stacks of sticky notes in here just in case there's something I need to jot down and I don't want to put it right in my master calendar right here, which again, another yellow paper house insert that's a calendar that in October I used it for a lot of different things. Like for some days I wrote what, where we went to shop. Other days it was, you know, oh, wow patch day. So, and then like in November, I have our bills written down. I have Thanksgiving written down when my Instagram giveaway ends. Um, when I started my 21 day fix, you know, Aria's trip to the ER, which she's fine, thankfully. <laughs> but it, it was one of those things where there was nothing I could have done to prevent what happened. She fell on the playground and yeah, she's okay though. And then I also have a little checklist for what bills we have each month and whether we paid them or not yet. Um, in the zip pouch I have a few little heart stickers and I have the business card of the student who cuts my hair at Paul Mitchell's school and I just covered up the phone number and actual location of the school but she's excellent so if you happen to live in the area 
of Kansas City. I highly recommend her. You can message me and I'll get you the information you need. Um, I also keep a password log in here. This has come in handy more times than I care to admit when I'm out and about um, because I tend to completely forget logins for things. But uh, another yellow paper house insert, and I'm obviously not going to show you what I have written in it, but it's got the room for the website name, your username, your password, and then like any other info. Like if you have a security code like AT&T, we have an additional security code on our account. Or, you know, if you have uh, like your security answers, if you want to include those in here. And then the pen loop, which I just had Miss Jennifer Harvey put on for me when I ordered this, and I actually really love having it. Fits a pen with a grip. Like, this is a Uniball Signo with a grip, so, I mean, it's a decent sized pen, and it fits just fine. My Coletto fits in here, too, so. Um, then there's my Midori-sized Chic Sparrow, which... I already did the in-depth setup of this, but I am going to show you a few things in here um, that I have changed. I have since added in that first insert, which was originally just going to be for drawing, I've added a list of the stamp sets I own and a list of the Makeup Geek shadows I already own. So if I'm ever browsing and making a wish list, I'm not adding the same ones I already have. Um, you know, the blog and YouTube schedule, which is a yellow paper house insert, which I am very, very behind on filming and blogging. I have been very bad this month. Um, I've started decorating the lightweight paper Midori insert now, and I'm really enjoying doing that. This paper actually holds up really, really well to just glue and other things. I'm really, really impressed with it. And then... This insert, which was the one I'm using to journal and chronicle my weight loss journey with the 21 day fix. Um, you know, it's got the how many containers I'm supposed to be eating every day, my water intake goals, the workout schedule, and then it also has my before measurements, which I have covered up all my measurements because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not a small girl, but I'm not a huge girl either, but too much information for you guys. Um, but yeah, my measurements, which are all in inches, and my starting weight, and then just the little sticky with what I'm supposed to take for measurements. And then I've been journaling a little bit about what I've been doing each day. Again, I have some notes on this elsewhere, and I need to backfill. I've been really bad about actually writing in that one every day. But I've been pretty good about taking my food log. So I'm pleased with that. But... You know, the leather between the Gemini and the Turkish Delight thickness. I don't know if the camera will really show that that well, but there is a difference. This one is definitely a little bit thicker, and the Turkish Delight is more pliable than the Gemini. But they're both lovely leathers in their own right. And now, this is my newest edition, and it is my A5 Mermaid from... Jonelle's, Janelle's, I hate butchering names, but I'm not sure how it's pronounced, Etsy shop, and I love it. She included some charms to go with it, but what's really great about this one is you can request if you want one closure elastic or two, you can pick whether you want them originating on the spine or from the back, and I like mine from the back, not that I've ever tried one from the spine, but I love having mine in the back so far. And then I have four closure elastics in here and I really like the way she does her elastic because the way she does it is in such a way that the knot for the elastic doesn't interfere with anything, which I think is really, really awesome. And uh, she includes a Piccadilly notebook inside but of course this is Kaye sized and this this is A5 sized. So the difference between Kaye and A5 is like half an inch. But uh, the leather on this is very, very thick and I was extremely surprised at how thick it was and then just how pliable it really still is despite that thickness. And I mean, it's, it's just stunning. And I love the color. This mermaid is one of her signature colors. She just does amazing, amazing color work. 
and right now she's got quite a lot of orders backlogged but she's working on getting caught up again and she's still accepting customer requests so I will link everybody's Etsy shops down below and yeah I highly recommend either shopping at Chic Sparrow or Janelle Fish I very much adore both of these women um, but I don't have anything really remarkable in this one yet because I'm still working out how I want to use it but this is just still blank. I don't know what I want to use it for, but I am going to use it for something. This notebook is from Kiki K, so are the other two that are in here. Um, these are A5 size notebooks, and this first one was originally my bullet journal. And things have obviously changed quite a bit since then. Um, but, you know, I've got a few wish lists in here. I've got my some of my washi inventory. I need to update this. I've gotten a lot more since I did this. Um, I've got my giveaway tracking in this notebook and one of my bookmarks marked into here. Um, this second notebook I'm trying to use for blog planning, which I don't really have much in there. I just have a series like topics for said series mapped out and then this last one I haven't found a use for it yet. Um, I'm st it, it's an ever-changing work in progress. I've only had this one since Monday so it's only been here for four days so I don't really have it set up quite yet and I'm really looking forward to getting it set up and functioning along with my two Sheik Sparrows and my Filofax. But anyway, that is enough of me rambling for the day, and thank you for watching. Sorry for my daughter kind of howling a little bit while she's on my back, and I hope you subscribe and stay tuned for another video. I'm looking at filming a, another Filofax video that I was supposed to do last week, but then I completely changed my setup. <laughs> so thank you, and have a great day.